Hello, I am Wander001, and this is my review of the seatback protectors, cargo tray, and all weather floor mats for the Subaru Forester. I happen to have the 2015 2.5i Premium model, but generally it's going to be the same thing for anything uh, that is a Subaru Forester. I'm starting in the back primarily because I actually like the seat back protectors and cargo tray. I feel they do a good job in what they're supposed to do. Uh, coming here, you can see the cargo tray it does have some debris in it because I have been throwing some stuff back here. So really the beauty of this is you keep your little floor mat back there all nice and clean. You can just take this out and shake it out or rinse it off with a hose and you're perfectly fine. It does have a very nice deep lip all around to catch any any nasty you know dirt mud or you know in my case uh wood because i was hauling wood the only thing i wish the cargo tray would do that it doesn't do is kind of have more of a like it's got these ridges underneath to kind of help it from sliding around i wish they had a uh, stippling like you get under floor mats to just kind of grab a little extra to keep it from moving around because as you can see try and see that's just me shifting it around. It doesn't move that much because it is shaped to fit the Forester. So you kind of have the plastic uh, parts of the car keeping it in place. Now, moving up to the seat back protectors. This is another thing that uh, when I was purchasing the car, if it didn't come with it, I was going to purchase. And that's because, well, again, you want to protect the uh, fabric backing of the car, of uh, the seats here. You can see there is Velcro to help keep them in place, as well as cutouts in the back for the uh, child seat tethers, which is very nice. The one thing that I'm not too sold on is this. Part of the way that they stay up are these bungee cords almost. So elastic in cars tends to dry out over time so only time will tell how long the elasticity will stay as part of the seat backs here you will notice i do have the headrests off right now and as i said in my review of the forester that is to increase visibility but also to show you that it is not the actual headrest bar that is holding these down rather they go underneath the little plastic lip here here and that's how they're held down. If we drop the seat, which I can't do fully only because I have stuff that was in the back of the car in the front seats there, uh, you can see just, just how far down the seat back protector actually goes. You'll also see this bit here, which uh, if I move the tray out of the way, is actually Velcroed on uh, to the the flap. So you have a little extra bit of seat back protection, as you can see. The uh, flap lines up with the seat back protector up there. And it, it does have a lip around it too, not as deep as the cargo tray. So if you did want to keep dirt on the seat back on the seat back protector here, you would be okay with that. Moving to the rear seats, here we're looking at the all-weather floor mats. And I actually like these for the rear seats. The lip around them is high enough that it'll keep most debris in on the floor mat, which you can then remove and wash or shake out however you want. It's also fitted very nicely to the well and where people would generally put their feet. You do have a little texturing here uh, for traction if you wanted. And if we flip it up, you do have the little nubs underneath to help try and keep it in place. So the rear all weather floor mats I really like and think uh, Subaru did a really good job with these. When we move up to the passenger and driver floor mats, I have differing opinions. All right, so starting with the passenger floor mat, uh, again, this is the all weather, so it's that rubberized texture. If we flip up the corner here, you do have the stippling underneath, which helps keep it in place. Now, this is, is shaped nicely and has a nice ridge in the back, but I don't know about you, but I tend to stretch my feet out a little bit, especially when I'm in the passenger seat. And once we get up to the top here, the ridge just, it, it's not enough in my opinion to uh, help keep debris in. Uh, this honeycomb texture that they have up here, uh, again, I get that you don't wanna have this aggressive texture up top. Uh, I, don't, I don't see the point, 
but that's just me. And that's splitting hairs. Texture-wise is not the problem. For me, it's when you start to lower the lip around an all-weather floor mat. I want to have that high ridge all the way around to keep the debris in, kind of like you have back here. I really wish they would have kept this lip all the way around. Uh, aside from that, it's, it's shaped nicely to fit the well. Uh, I do wish it came up a little higher on this side only because, you know, I stretch out when I'm in the car. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the driver's right, side. So the driver's side is where I have the most complaints because, well, I am the driver of this vehicle. Now, it does have stippling underneath as well as little anchor holes where you can kinda slip the pre-existing anchor into. The rear, again, the channel in the rear is very nice to help keep debris in. But then we come up here, and again, we get that honeycomb texture, which is neither here nor there. But then we lower the channel, again, so that debris just doesn't seem to stay in quite as well. And here's the big thing. Where you have your foot 100% of the time, or 99.9% .9 of the time, they don't have the all-weather floor mat go up to here. Now, I do understand that there are reasons why you don't want to have the all-weather floor mat go underneath the pedal. You don't want to get it stuck or whatever, but I feel that they should have at least brought it up a little further, especially during the winter time. This is going to get all the salt, all the, the snow melt just sitting here instead of on the all-weather floor mat. Likewise, over here, I get they have the cutout because you have your foot stand here, but again, why couldn't we bring this up to keep the foot stand to catch all the melt when the floor mat would be there. I mean, they're not terrible floor mats, but for what you pay for them, I really thought you'd get a little more. And quite frankly, I ended up sticking my old floor mats, all weather floor mats that I got for my car, uh, back in the Subaru because it covered more ground. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's what my old all weather floor mats look like in the Subaru Forester, you'll notice. The deep lip, again, texturing uh, would just be splitting hairs because they too do a diamond pattern up top. But hopefully you can see, notice the lip, how deep it is around the front. And yes, it does go a little bit under where the pedal is, but that's kind of because I pushed the seat up. So if I brought this back a little more, I would have more uh, space between the pedal and the actual lip. Um, really, it, it's it's a 50-50, depending on if those little caveats that I mentioned would bother you uh, with the all-weather floor mats. I mean, if they don't, they're good all-weather floor mats. I've only had them uh, for a little bit now. I haven't actually had the chance to uh, see how they perform in snow, only with uh, the rain and dirt right now. And they hold up pretty well with rain and dirt. So uh, we'll see how they do with the snow over time. But this is mainly just like kind of an informative give you uh, facts from somebody who actually has them to see if it's an option that you want to add to your car. Uh, so I have been Wanderer001. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the area below and thanks for watching.